I left all the way home on the line. <laughs> How's it going everyone? Tim here, Tier Day Adventures. Hope everyone's all and well out there. Uh, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. So, what are we going over today? We are going over the Tier X4 2021 Bronco and why did I pick it up? So, first off for a couple reasons. One, I was kind of in the market for just picking up a Tier X4 again. Uh, just give me something else, kind of another all-around trail truck is something to take out because mother nature has been pretty relentless late lately so i wanted to pick up a little something extra um i was looking to just pick it up a sport and doing a little bit with it and then they announced the 21 bronco and i was like you know what might as well get it and another reason um our local comp scene uh there are a lot of us that have you know lcg type bills there's a lot of team drivers stuff like that for our local comp series but we also have a lot of newer guys that aren't quite there don't feel like jumping into that world of comping yet but still want to get a feel for the comp so i'm putting together a kind of um class two stock rtr ish class um not super crazy um pretty leaning on a lot of the rules but mostly as long as the truck is relatively in its stock platform with no like mechanical um advantage and stuff like that so let's take a look here i've got most of the Upgrades everything that I was looking to do for it. So quick little now I must say this body does look pretty good I actually do I do like the sport version of this body everything just looks pretty good there. So visually um, Nothing too crazy yet. I do have some decals order for it uh, from sore racing So hopefully get those here soon get those put on. I'll just do a little update picture on that um, I did remove the faux winch here from the front. Um, it does stick out quite a bit and is a major point so i did go ahead and remove that i am going to trim the um, stock one down uh, did see a nice little trick i'll probably trim this down to get the d-rings to mount back in there and then i'll probably pull the fair lead off and put it right here in the middle because i will put a, a winch here on the inside um, not going to get the traxxas winch um, 10 pound limit is pushing it on most trx fours in general and for Honestly, for the price, there are a lot better winches out there. So um, the only thing I have not gotten yet that I'm waiting for is the Pro Scale Light Kit for the Bronco. It is not shipped yet. Mine is ordered. It just has not shipped yet. Hopefully here within um, next week or two, hopefully they'll start shipping out and can get that installed because that kit's really going to set this body off. So very excited for that. Um, everything else here. Oh, first thing <clears throat> we did, um, changed wheels and tires. I actually have two sets of wheels and tires for this that I'm using. Uh, so first here, if I'm just feeling more, you know, uh, trailing, a little light, little light crawling, um, more of that scale look, I'm rocking these. These are uh, Boom Racing 1.9 wheels with BFG uh, crawlers in Predator Compound with Halo Foams. If we're feeling a little wet and muddy, I have these. Uh, RC 4-wheel drive 1.9. These are the Black Rhino Armory wheels and some Voodoo KLR Amps, which is generally my go-to all-around tire. Um, which was the first tire I put on this, but I decided, you know what, I want to have a kind of a scale look to it. So we went with the crawlers as well. So, and I did do a little interior in here. Uh, nothing fancy. This is just a uh, cheaper uh, Amazon interior. So, so cool. And just like that, it's off back to a regular TRX4. Um, if you haven't seen me, there is the underside. Here's the new body mount system um, which is honestly it's pretty spectacular I'm waiting for them to see what other bodies they make available in this or if they make any adapter kits for some of the other bodies and this also made it pretty convenient for the interior um, it already had this dash piece up here so I could just simply bolt the interior there and tuck it up underneath or above <coughs> the rear body mount system and everything there's all good body super strong and rigid it's taken some good tumbles and it's helped great I haven't had any issues with it thus far so underneath is where i've been doing a lot of my concentration work 
Um, real quick, I mean, like I said, everything underneath here, it is a T-Rex 4. Um, the inner fenders here are basically the same shape um, as the sport fenders with the addition of the cutouts for the body mounts, um, which is pretty awesome. That clipless system is pretty sweet and convenient. Um, it does still come with cross, base, cross braces here, so you can use a uh, traditional uh, T-Rex 4 body post mount if that's your thing. Uh, so going on to normal tips and tricks that I always remember when I was getting, you know, grab a T-Rex 4, things you do right off the bat, you know, a little bit of weight, electronics. One of the mods that I always did was a bumper flip mod. Rather, it be taking the front bumper mount and flipping it or taking the rear bumper mount and moving it to the front and flipping it upside down. Um, it would give you just that little bit of clearance there, moving the bumpers and everything out, you know, just helping with that approach angle and departure angle, stuff like that. Well, with the 21 Bronco bumpers, you can't do that. The front and rear bumpers and bumper mounts are integrated into one piece. As you can see right here in the rear, the bumper and bumper mount, all one piece. Here in the front, bumper and bumper mount, all one piece there. Now, on the 21 Bronco, the bumper mount and bumper do line up pretty straight. So that does gain just a little bit more clearance than the traditional bumper mount, but not as much as your normal average bumper flip. So if you're looking to pick up 21 Bronco and are looking to upgrade bumpers, you will need TRX4 bumper mounts as well to go with that. And that's not just, you know, so it's one of those simple tricks is just something that I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to do the bumper flip. I pulled the body off. I was like, I can't do that. Shucks. So moving on here. First things was um, was the stock um, motor and ESC combo. Um, I just never had the best of luck with the stock tracks and electronics on my TRX4s or the servo. So that was definitely one of the first things I meant to address and I did the motor and servo right off the bat. Um, I went with the Castle Copperhead 10 uh, crawler combo with a 2280 kV uh, brushless motor. Um, keeping the stock uh, pinion in there now. Um, I was debating going with the 2850 or the 2280, but with the um, two speed, the 2280 does just fine. The high gear, plenty of wheel speed, and that low gear is a nice, buttery smooth, slow crawl with this. So, like I said, the uh, copperhead combo is definitely becoming a fast favorite uh, ESC of my, uh, ESC of choice of mine. So, um, from that, you know, it's super powerful, uh, super smooth, everything there. I just like it. The tuning options are great. Um, next up on that was the uh, servo. Uh, I did run the stock servo for my first couple outings and it's actually still alive, which is far more impressive than my other, any of the other TRX4s I ever had. Uh, the stock servos generally didn't last the first time out, um, which is a bummer, but stock electronics, it's to be expected. Uh, so I wanted to majorly upgrade that. I wanted a very fast and very strong servo. So I went with the In The Works RC BLS X900 uh, Direct Power 3S servo. Uh, super strong servo um really really liking it and it's going to fit this build perfectly um if you are interested the ratings um it's rated at 667 ounce inches at 11.1 .1 volts uh 792 at 12 and 834 at 12.6 um and i did go ahead and throw a battery in real quick yeah that is going to be plenty and for the copperhead uh, combo, you know, just low gear, um, beautiful. And we, you know, bump it over to high gear. We still got plenty of power and the low speed control and all that is quite amazing. Um, I did pair it with my uh, Spectrum DX5 Pro. Um, I just like all my stuff on one controller and it was super easy. Um, right now I do just have a five channel. Um, I forgot that I'm getting the light kit, so I'm going to have to throw in a six channel. I do have an extra one, so I'll have to put that in just for the pro light kit to make sure everything does work. It was, um, getting everything set up actually went very, very well. Um, for the two speed, um, I just went with the H here and I set uh, it to uh, momentary uh, inhibit. And then for the uh, locking and unlocking the diffs, I set the front diff on my forwardmost lever switch here and the rear diff on the rearmost. And again, that was pretty simple. I just picked the switch I wanted and I set both of them on the mode to two position, the cyclic to active and the momentary to inhibit. And it works uh, really, really well. 
after the stock servo or the steering servo, uh, the Mike Traxxas micro servos. Um, I actually love these servos. I've never had any problems with these servos in any of my other JX4s. I've never actually burnt one up. Um, I've used them for other builds and stuff like that. So those are staying. I love those little things. Um, one other thing I always have done with every TRX4 is a battery tray. Um, the batteries that I typically use do not fit well in the Traxxas battery tray, and the battery tray is awfully high. So I had my man Theron uh, 3D print me an LCG TRX4 battery tray um, from a file on Thingiverse. Uh, great print, everything fit in good, plenty of clearance here, uh, not lent no links hitting like that, and I can still fit a 4500 or 5000 milliamp battery here in the back for those super extended trail days. Drivetrain wise, I'm set. I don't have any plans for underdrive or overdrive any of the differentials. I'm happy right where it's at. Um, but I did want to do just a little bit of strength. Uh, so I went here in the rear. I added the trio uh, rear hubs there. Um, our portal covers are still plastic. Um, I'm fine with that. I never liked brass myself personally on my TRX4 in the rear. On the front here, um, again, one with a little more strength. Um, we're with Trio uh, hub and C hub here, uh, Trio knuckle and aluminum, you know, just more for that strength factor. And then um, in my drawer, I did have some TRX4 um, portal covers in brass. So I went ahead and put those on. That's just that little bit of weight I want. I don't go crazy with the TRX4s as far as weight, just enough to help with the bigger body. Just that little bit. I don't feel like swapping everything out. The only thing I may swap out are the diff covers, and that's mostly just for eye-friendly purposes. Uh, they have some really nice looking diff covers, so I will change that out. Um, sliders, shock towers, all that stain. That's it. Other than that, I've just been super happy with the TRX4 and been having, yeah, just like that. It's pretty sweet. Other than that, I've been having a blast with it out uh, so far. And it said, it was just a couple reasons. I wanted to um, just another trail truck and put a little, you know, stock compish together, get all, that way everyone can get out, everyone can have a great time, enjoy the comps without the, um, you know, feeling daunted. This will be a way to just get more people, our local community, just really uh, together and get everyone involved as best as we can. So that's going to be really exciting to see. I'll get some videos and stuff on that, um, but also um, off of that with a suggestion I had earlier and it was actually, all, it was on the agenda because I was thinking about it when I was going through some of this stuff the other day. Um, doing a little uh, video or two on getting the most out of your RTR. As I know, some people um, like that, they're in that situation. You know, they want to maybe comp or want to try to get as much performance as they can out of their RTR. Um, rather, they're just not ready to jump into the full LCG world yet. Or, you know, budget can always be a factor. Or it's just something that, you know, they're not comfortable doing. Um, so, but you still want to find a way to get as much as you can out of your truck as far as performance. So I would like to do a couple um, videos on getting the most of your RTRs. We'll go over that videos. Um, if you think you, those would be some um, interesting videos to watch, uh, let me know down below if you have any suggestions for those uh, that would help me out. Put them down below as well. Um, anyway, that's going to wrap this one up. hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, I'll link down in the description uh, below, general idea, general parts list, um, what I've all done here and what I've been using. Uh, so in the meantime, everyone have a great one and crawl on.